Um, you got in a car accident with Gonz's dad once? We were driving and we rear-ended this man. We pulled over on the freeway and we like exchanged information. But it was my friend's information, Jed's. So it wasn't like I gave him my ID. So we're out there looking at the car and I get home at night and Mark calls me up and he's like, hey, like how was that accident? You got into an accident, are you all right? And I'm like, what are you talking about? How did you know that? And he was like, that was my dad. And I was like, <laughs> That's so weird, and I guess he like recognized me from like ads or something. Mm. That's so crazy. Just the most randomest yeah. thing. It's like with LA Small, traffic. Smallest world. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So you just filmed a trip with Tony. I did. How did that come about? Um, actually, it was pretty funny because I knew I was gonna come down and do the show. Uh -huh. And he sent me a message on Instagram like last night and it said, hey, like, can you bring your board down? I'm, I'm working on this project on my ramp. Uh -huh. And I seriously thought it was a joke because I've seen pictures of this ramp. It's big, it's whatever. <laughs> like, you know, I thought I was just gonna come in doing the interview, but uh, I was super nervous. That's why I had my friend Justin come down with me. I'm like, I need support, moral support. Like, Cause I don't want to <laughs> jump on a ramp with like Tony Hawk yeah. and look like an idiot. Honestly, like, you know, I grew up watching Tony Hawk and like, you know, that means the world to me. It's like to have that experience, like, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, I just read you shouted them out. In your 30 most influential skaters interview in Transworld, you shouted out Tony as the most influential to you. Yeah. I don't know, it's like I still look I still look up to those guys. Like I was doing a signing at Active the other day and it was by the van skate park and like Lance pops in, it's like eight thirty at night, he's like popping off his helmet and like he's like, Yeah, I was just skating the Vans bowl with Garasso. And I'm yeah. like, How rad is that? You know what I mean? Like you still like inspire me in certain ways and it's like to see Tony out here skating today, it's like, you know, it inspires me to do it for as long as I can. I was mentioning um people assuming that things came easy for Tony. Do you think people think things come easy for you being Tony's son, or is uh, I don't know, I was just skating, and then I think really the first like major company that like saw me or noticed or something was Lakai, like, mm -hmm. I think it was like Mike or, I don't know, or Tiba or someone like said something to them, and then- They were passing the video. They like talked to me, and then I just started getting stuff from them. They were cool enough to let me come on some trips and stuff, and then it just like worked out. And then uh, like Quicksilver, it just kind of worked out just because my dad like they were just yeah. into it, and I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm down. Like Quicksilver is cool, so I never really thought about it like that. I just yeah. kind of tried to just skate and just do whatever. Did you ever think when you were younger like that you did or didn't want to be a pro skater, like either or? Like, did you want to do something different entirely, or did you uh, actually hope that you wanted to be sponsored? I don't know. In I guess. I guess probably at a certain age, I was decided that I wanted to just keep doing it. But mm -hmm. when I was little, I was doing all kinds of stuff, like playing basketball or whatever, just yeah. like stuff normal kids do. I mean, yeah, definitely there was probably times when I was younger where I was just like thinking, just wondering kind of what people thought of me just because yeah. I was just like my dad's son or whatever. But now it's like, I don't really care. I mean, I think it's cool that me and my dad both skate and we can skate yeah. together. Like people want to whatever, say stuff about it, yeah. I don't really care. Well, I think you've beyond proved that you're a great skateboarder and it, <laughs> well, you know I what I mean? That, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a trip for me. Like I was telling Tony earlier, it's like, we did like the voltage tour with Lakai. Yeah, yeah. And like, so it's like, I'm skating with him and like looking at him and like thinking of it, like this is like, you know, Tony's son. Like this yeah. is such a trip. Cause I looked up to him so much. And then like, I would see like, you know, just like, us standing there and like I can like see Tony in him and like it's so trippy for me. Yeah, you know what I mean? For sure. Makes me feel old, makes me feel weird, but then like makes me feel blessed. Like yeah, you know what I mean? Because you're I'm somewhere like, in the middle, Tony's older, and then here comes Riley. This is so rad yeah. to end up like wow, like I'm on a Lakai tour with Riley Hawk. You know yeah. what I mean? Like how strange is this? I like grew up watching his dad being yeah. inspired, and now I'm like doing a demo with yeah. the son. For sure. Riley, is it is it true your your real name is Hudson? Yeah, that's my first. <laughs> how, how come you don't go by that name? Oh, that's a question always, for my always, parents, I think. You've always gone by your, yeah, your middle, they middle just, name? I think there's like a movie called Hudson Hawk with Bruce Willis in it. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I, I guess it came out maybe a little bit after I was born. And so like people didn't know. They just assumed I was named after the movie or something. And my parents were just like over it, I guess. So it was started, right after you were born. Yeah, wow. exactly. So they started calling bad timing. me. Yeah. So they just started calling me Riley. And then, but still like on my ID, it says like Hudson Hawk. So every time I like 
use my ID or something. The guy would be like, have you ever seen Hudson Hawk? I'm like, no, I haven't. No. You've never watched it? <laughs> no, I've never even seen it. I should. <laughs> yeah, you probably, you should rent that at least I've once. heard it, some people tell me it's like the best movie ever and some people tell me it's the worst movie, so. Maybe you don't want to see it because yeah, if you hate it, you'll know. be bummed, extra bummed. Yeah. Change your name for real. Seriously. <laughs> I like Hudson Hawk. It's I like, uh, <laughs> some people, like Guys Jaws, like all the dudes on Birdhouse call me Hudson, like Jaws and David Lloyd and stuff. It's like a very um, like, yeah. Strong name. It is. It is. Yeah, I feel like I maybe I'll like switch it up when I'm older. You become more <laughs> like Prince. Of a man, yeah, so exactly. to speak. <laughs> sure. uh, Daniel, what are you doing on your phone over here? Nothing. Buying what? a new car, some parts or something. What are you doing? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, secretive. We actually heard him coming. Like we were standing yeah. up in the building, and I'm like, I think I hear Daniel. Yeah. And then sure enough. Yeah. It's Smoke like, billowing out the windows. No. Peeling around the corners. No. None of that? No. <laughs> Tell them Tokyo Drift. Tell them oh, what God. you do. Yeah. Tell yeah. us a little that? bit about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I really like my car and that's it. <laughs> oh. Tokyo well, do you drift. work on it all the time? Yeah. Yeah. I heard you just beat Rick Howard in a race. Yeah. I did. I smoked him. I was just driving and he pulls up on the side of me. He's like, hey, Tim, you want to race? I'm like, what? Like, no, dude. And he's got an early beamer, like yeah. a souped up beamer. And like, he's like, um, he's just like, all right, let's go. Like, starts counting down. I was like, this fool's joking. I'm like, oh shit, he's serious. Yeah, he was serious. <laughs> and then I just smoked him. Oh. <laughs> Tell us about Bon Voyage. Bon Voyage? It comes out in, wait, when does it come out? Is three, that, is that three what months. they're calling it? That's what I'm March. Yeah, it comes, yeah, it comes out in March, mm -hmm. hopefully. Are you psyched on it? Uh, I'm more it? nervous than psyched, because it'll be my first real part. That's good. I mean, I'll, I'll, I co-sign Daniel. He yeah. is a beast on rails, beast on gaps, trainee, everything, complete full package. I'm <laughs> looking forward to this part. I know it's going to blow people's minds, like, super psyched, man. I hope so. Daniel, do you feel a little more European being on cliche? <laughs> um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel a little more cultured? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I was in Japan, fucking Joe changed my name. He was like, you're not American or Mexican anymore. Yeah. You're European, Japanese. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> so, so wait, there for didn't so they long. change your name too? Yeah. What, what's the name they gave you? Spinach. <laughs> spinach? Yeah. It, spinach in a different language or spinach in English? Spinach in English. Okay. It like translates like three times. It's oh, like okay. Espinosa and then it's... Uh, I forgot what it is. It's something else in French, and then it means spinach. And then Retta like got a hold of it, and he just started singing the Popeye song to me for an entire trip. Yeah. It was. I really, bet that was, was really, really fun every day. It was, it was annoying, but I don't know. I was just like, whatever. It's not too bad. I've gotten worse nicknames, so it's okay. Tell some of them. God damn it. <laughs> uh, chipmunk. Anything with chipmunks in it. Squirrel. Flying squirrel. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe my teeth. Oh, I don't, I, I never thought once Well, chipmunk. I was young, I was young, when I was younger, they called me You're like just staring at his teeth now. Thanks, thanks, Kat. <laughs> I got some pretty big choppers myself, so I'm like... But, wait, Riley, do you have a nickname? Because I thought everyone on Baker has to have a nickname of some sort. Uh, for some reason my friends all call me Sloth, I don't know Sloth? Yeah. Sloth. We've got a Sloth, <laughs> yeah. Sparrow slash Chickmunk, yeah. and then we've got Guy. Hunts, I, wait, do you have a nickname? Hunts and Sloth. Rat. Yeah. Rat? Rat. Rat. Sloth? Oh, like, they used to call rat. me like Rat Thing. I think like, you know... I got a rodent-ish look. <laughs> <laughs>